Ismith of Mercia was a Mercian princess who married Alfred, the Anglo-Saxon king of Wessex. She was never officially called queen, but she is remembered as the true and beloved lady of the English. Ilswith was the daughter of Ethelred, Musil and Edberg. In 868, Alfred and his brother, King Ethelred, were campaigning. King Burgred of Mercia sent a message to the two men appealing for help in the fight against the Danes. Their men took their troops to Nottingham and began a siege. This is where Alfred and Ealswith met. To seal the alliance with Mercia, Alfred and Ealswith were married. The wedding ceremony took place in the royal villa of Sutton Courtenay. The festivities lasted long into the night. However, during the festivities, Alfred fell ill with some kind of intestinal discomfort that would last the rest of his life. In 871, Alfred succeeded his brother as King of Wessex. Ealswith and Alfred had five children who survived infancy, and they may have had many more children who died in infancy, but were never recorded. Their eldest surviving child was a daughter named Ethelflet. She married Ethelred of Mercia and was a formidable warrior who fought Vikings. She was known as the Lady of the Mercians. Another daughter was named Ethelgafu, and she was the abbess of Shaftesbury. Their next child was a son named Edward, and he would succeed his father as Edward the Elder. Their next child, Ethelric, married Count Baldwin of Flanders, and was an ancestress of Matilda of Flanders who married William the Conqueror. Their youngest child was a son named Ethelward. The Danes invaded Wessex again, retired in 877 and re-attacked in 878. They established themselves at Chippingham and the West Saxons submitted except King Alfred. He harassed the Danes from a fort in Somerset and gathered an army. They defeated the Danes at the Battle of Eddington. They surrendered and their king, Guthrum, was baptised, with Alfred as his sponsor. The Danes eventually settled in East Anglia. During the time of peace, Ealswith turned her attention to the establishment of the Nunnaminster. The project was not completed in her life, but her son Edward completed the foundation. Following her husband's death in 899, Ealswith received £100 in cash, along with two estates in Berkshire and one estate in Eddington. Ealswith passed away three years later on the 5th of December 902. She was buried in the Old Minster next to Alfred. Edward finished his father's project of building the new minster at Winchester and had his parents' relics transferred there when it was completed.